Look, we'll just go out for a bit. Good evening to you all. Welcome to just going out for a bit. Now, everyone deserves a second chance. Even the nightcap tent. Stayed here last time and I wasn't too impressed and I thought, where did that go wrong? So I watched some videos, made some mods and hopefully of a better experience this time using the hoop bivy section of it because as you know this thing can be a hammock tent it can be a normal bivy tent as well at the same time so without further ado let's get this little cat up and we'll see what we think about it eh right see ya Okay, now all the equipment we've got today, one DD sleeping bag, one Svota ground covering, one moose pillow with the Cathlon, one Cathlon air bed, and last of all, one nightcap tent. So, that's just the place where she's going to go tonight. Right. Right. Nice quick recap on what's in the bag in case you've not seen the tent before. It's going to come with instructions. You know what? They're not very good. One flimsy bag. Bag comes. With all you're going to need to create a hammock. Carabiner that side. Ooh. Carabiner that side, whoosh, it goes up. In the middle, you have mesh, bug screen. Call it what you wish. Either side, you have attachment for poles, which go in a hooped side thing, either side. And what you do, which you don't make you aware of, you use your two, because then you provide two tent pegs either side of the carabiner to stretch it out. Once it's stretched out, that's where you get the rigidity to stop the hoops from folding in on itself. And when we put the screen over. In all its fantastic glory, that should be taught to to make the tent waterproof and spacious and airy. It comes with again, like I sort of said, and I tied it up a bit, a bit too tight. Believe you me, in here, well, he rips his own nail off. You only got two of these in the hoot bivy, they go either side where the carabiners are. Nice and taut. On the hammock side, there are some elasticated guy lines 
which stop it from flipping over. So you can sit in it quite nicely and it will just stay pretty much sea level. All the strapping you're going to need is provided. It's all relatively well thought through, apart from the instructions. Comes with a bag. The bag in itself can be used as a pillow, which we can do later on with a couple of other jumpers and the like. And because you've got orange tent pegs, you've got orange. Hooped, slightly hooped affair. And they all go inside. Extremely easy. It's got grommets to put into, which we'll show you in a minute. Okay. Let's put the rucksack down, not the rucksack. Let's put the Savota Swedish stroke finish. I had an Alzheimer's moment. Um, ground covering, ground sheet, ground mat. We're getting there. Down, and let's begin this. Right. Ground mat down. You get my gist? In this case, it's just to stop all the brambles and stuff coming up through the um, very light material on the bivy, on the bivy, because it is very, very, very thin. Right. Next step. These are fed. Through here. Grommets in the hole. Here. Grommets in the hole here. Now hopefully when I peg it out the magic happens, hopefully. Okay. So far so good. But you do have to stretch. I put in a wooden peg to make sure to get the hoop baby going. There's a zip and the fly here. That's all taut as you can see. So, so far we're happy. Next stage, get the um, fly screen up. We'll get a closer look at the old grommets. And this is the um, elasticated thing which we're going to need. We have it in a hammock mode. But on a really hot night, that could do wonders. You're just sleeping under the stars and keeping the flies off. Hmm. 
not like that, you're winning me over here. Just to show you some bits now. Just here. That should go into there. Let's see if we can do it one handed. Click. One on that side. And one just over here. One hundred. You can do it. Come on. Be good for the camera. Click. And that can be tightened up and as you need it. Okay. Now, on the sides, because you could do that, has pop studs either side, which are there to provide a waterproof seal for the hammock, but also you can Clip that together and you've got protection from the elements that side as well. Mm. So ensconced in the hoop bivy. I've got more than enough. My toes are touching the cone end, it doesn't call it. But it's seeming to be working. Again, that um hook there will probably be very annoying after a while. But um it's not hitting me in the minute, so when I go to Betty Buys, should be good. Oh. I've got the um I don't think it's going to rain tonight, so I'm happy with it leaving it as it is. Yeah. Night cat. With a few adjustments here or there, you could be on my side. Hmm. Oh, I do like this. So I can look. I can look out. Yeah, I'm impressed. Finally impressed. Finally happy. Nearly. Just got to do a few more sewing things, attaching. So I can put the um, screen out to its full extent, but I'm um, bar that happy. 
Ah, oh, I think after that I deserve um, a bit of sustenance. Hmm. Right. If I can be bothered, really, because it's... Lovely and quiet. Listen to the birds. Go for their evening chorus. Yep, come on. Let's show you what I've got today. Okay. <clears throat> the only thing we could do really here is some sort of matting so I can get out without being covered in the forest. But hey, not complaining at all. Right, see you in a bit. So, I'd say about 25 metres away. Nicely camouflaged. This is my trip walk going backwards and die. Ten meters. Impressive. Right. All done. Time for sustenance. Let me introduce to you my cook set for tonight. We are using meths. Plenty of maths there, plenty of maths. Get me through tonight and tomorrow morning. The Stanley cook set. The Stanley cook set. I'll just remove some of the stuff inside of it. Oops. It normally comes Supply with two heavy duty, never going to break, insulated mugs. Copy. It has striations on the side, so if you're cooking a proper meal or recipe, you need to know exact things. That's there. In case you want to strain something, like, you know, you can do that. Stanley cook set. Very, very handy indeed. Idiot proof. So it works. It works well. Now, that's that. Tidy for a second. Tell you what we are going to be using to cook with. <clears throat> May I bring to you
the pill bottle stove. These things, the sort of things you're going to get in your um, barbecue sort of posh barbecue set, um, you would add that to that, courtesy of your pill container. In the pill container, it comes with. A small windshield. Oh, we're not going to need that. And these things to rest your pills on top. And all we're going to do is do that. And that will um, cook for you. Now how it comes, it comes from the States, it gives you everything here you need to know how to make it work. All the information will be provided to you, either through that or a sheet of A4, yeah, A5 sheet. giving you the whole rundown on how to use. So pop the lid, which we've done, pour in alcohol, which we're using meths, until the bottle is full. Let it bubble a few minutes and add more. Close the lid and let it side for a further 10-15 minutes so all four tablets can absorb the fuel. If any fuel seeps out, rub Vaseline over the rim of the lid. Lucky I've got no Vaseline with me. Okay. Right, so let us begin. Close the lid, it's sealed, and you should see a bit of bubbling going on. Leave it for 10 minutes, well, t minutes as it said, and turn it around so I think it's a good soaking. And that's only used half of my ginger immune support. Excellent. <clears throat> I think first of all I'll just go for a coffee. Although I do have something rather nice because the good thing about Stanley Cup sets is they can be modded with all sorts of things. In this case I've got a GSI outdoor mug. So I can do that. That. That's all concise. What I'm going to use is this old coaster as well to make sure it doesn't go through. First time I've done this in anger. Fold this nicely. You can get these things on Etsy. Pill bottle stove. 
take a while to get to you because they're a small industry sort of thing they're not <coughs> a massive conglomerate making these sort of things that's good enough look at that I think has popped We'll add some more in there. Good. So what's that? That's roughly 355 millilitres. Come back to me in 10 minutes. Well, not now, about five minutes now. Okay. It's two blocks in there. Do now it's just what a bit of this. Oops. And as they say, we're cooking on not gas. Look at that. Let's not waste time, eh? A little bit of rice pudding that's starting to, to get there. Oops, I put the spoon. Put the spoon. Right.
Get a bit of cinnamon in there. Get the rice pudding. Pour the hot water. A bit for on later on, and that, folks, is the Stanley cook set and the pillbox cooker. It's not going to win any awards for speed, but for convenience, I can cook two meals at the same time. I can pick it after a very short amount of time. And the little oops. I'll knock you over. And these things show no signs of burning. So very good. Right, so So while I set this down um, and greet some guests who've just turned up, um, I'll climb to the pit later on, have a chat about that and see how we go. Here we go. It's not a tent. I don't know if you can see me when I'm all done up. Should be okay. I know. But um, yeah. After my reservations last time, I quite like this. I do quite like it. So I have to see if I get through the night, but I've got plenty of space in here. Very wide, very wide, you know, and I'm, I suppose I've been so used to the Dutch hoop bivvy, where you, it's, it's, it's on you all the time, you know, you just treat it as a, almost like, almost like, like a blanket really, and you just get your face into the open air. So from here, I should, um, be greeted by the dawn by sunlight because the sky is very crisp the moon will be up soon fully and I expect a frost so on that I bid you all farewell and to one of my new potential new um, subscribers Harry it's nice meeting you today and your Daniel and your family um, so Take care. See you in the morning. Night.
Morning. Oh my god. My mate. There we go. Oh, that's a bit too bright, but I don't do anything. Nonetheless, good morning everyone. Survived the night. Always a bonus. Seeing as I'd had these fly, fly screen tarp, whatever you want to call it, open all night. And it's quite, well, it's quite warm once I snuggled down, you know. Oh, there you go. Went for one visit to the evolutions. God knows what time that was. Um, oh, so no, not thinking straight. No, I'm not talking straight either. Um, this could do this bit just down here. Could do what I think the Germans call elephant skin. Uh, that's this sort of like really basic sleep mat, mat sort of stuff. You know, just to keep on the floor just down here. Bar that, yeah. Yeah, I did notice a little bit of condensation, but bearing in mind I'm that far, that far away from my breath when I'm on, on my back sometimes because I did I do roll around. Um, yeah, so all good, all good in the hood. I think now I'm trying to get my slippers on and grab myself a nice cuppa and just listen to the dawn chorus. Right, let's get to it. Can't get blood from the stone, but you can get fire. Okay.
there we go, we're back in the game. So, first coffee of the day, well worth it. Night cat, well worth it. Yep, took me a second to try to figure it, figure it all out, but um. Yeah, I can see myself going that many a time again. Right, as the sun slowly comes up over the horizon, I bid you farewell. I'm going to strike camp in a bit. After a bit more dawn chorus and a nice, nice lazy go home. Make sure there's no trace. And, um, yeah. Bon voyage everyone and keep on going out there. Cheers. Take care now.